A few years ago, when I was working on a project in the southeast of the city, we would often have meetings in a sort of cafe around the corner from this particular photograph. And, I mean, I'd seen this wall some years earlier, and it had fascinated me just as something about those creatures, and it made me think for some odd reason of Alice in Wonderland. Um, but what it is, is that when I was doing this project, I, I would walk to the cafe, and at different moments, I would often see people stop in front of this wall. And I think it's because of its location and the fact that the illustrations are kind of low down and maybe because of the kind of illustrations that we see. But people would stop and you'd see, at least I'd see a number of things. Often I'd see children asking their parents about the creatures. Uh, sometimes asking, what is this one going to say? Or what is that one thinking? I'd often see uh, students, uh, because of the housing issue, then a lot of students uh, seem to be housed in this area. They couldn't uh, find places in the center of the city. And you'd see them stopping and taking pictures and doing all kinds of things. And it seemed to be that this wall, more than any of all the other painted walls I'd noticed, having said that, I haven't done any study on all the painted walls in Amsterdam, but it certainly appeared as if this particular wall attracted people and the creatures on that wall came alive and began to converse with anybody who had an open mind. And, yeah, I don't know, it's just a very simple thing and uh, it's, uh, I don't know who painted it, I don't know whatever, I can't find another wall quite like this in Amsterdam. I like it. I must say, I don't know if it's still there because, as you know, things come and go. But this is um, to the talking wall or the wall that seems to demand that anybody passing with an imagination stop for a moment and uh, have a chat with some of the creatures you see in front of you.